Welcome to a new lesson. In this lesson, we would add a little more twist to our word count problem. We have till now seen only one file per reducer. In this variation, let us create multiple files per reducer. Till this point, we have reducer which outputs the word and its occurrences. Now let us have our reducer segregate the output alphabetically. That is, it would put all the words starting with A in one file and starting from B in another file and so on. So in this case, we would use the multiple output format class. In the reducer class, we would declare a private object of type multiple outputs. Then we would overwrite setup and reference it with a context object. Then we would use the write function of this handle with the parameters as key, value and a new third one which is the file name. The name of the file is in the form of name hyphen r hyphen 000 where name is the part we can control. r represents the reducer and 000 represents the reducer number or the partition number. So in our case the name would be an alphabet. Then we would just override the cleanup method and we are ready. Let us look at the mapper class as well. I have just made two changes here. Just added a line to convert everything in the lower case so that capital 2 is not taken different from the smaller case 2. Second I am checking that every word that is passed is starting with a character. There can be a lot of checks that can be made to clean the data and there is a lot of scope for that. But that is not the focus of the lesson and so I haven't put all those changes. Then comes the driver. Driver is as straight as we have seen so far. We have mentioned the map output key class and the value class and mapper class that is word count mapper. Then we have declared the reducer class that is multiple output reducer class. Then the output key class and output value class. We have used the tool runner as in our previous examples. Let us try to run this and see. Let me just output the input file first. So this is a long file. Let us run this. Ok it's done. Now let's see the output. So in the output we see a lot of files in the format alphabet hyphen r hyphen 000. Let us try to print one file. I'll print the one starting with n. And so we can see all the words printed with the number of occurrences. As you can see that I haven't coded a perfect mapper. Here numbers and numbers comma are treated as separate words. There is a little cleaning of data required in map function. This example are just to explain the concept and so I didn't put a lot of additional side code. But sure there is room for improvement and we can clean the data on the map side. Hope you learned new things. See you in the next lesson.